All right, so today we're quickly looking at creatine monohydrate. What is it? How does it work? And should you be using it? So first up, what is it? Creatine is a substance that is found naturally in muscle cells. Your body can produce creatine from the amino acids, glycine and arginine. About 95% of your body's creatine is stored in your muscles in the form of phosphocreatine. The other 5% is found in your brain, in your kidneys, and your liver. When you supplement with creatine, you increase your stores of phosphocreatine. Now what phosphocreatine does is helps your body produce a high energy molecule called ATP, or adenosine triphosphate. ATP is basically your muscle's energy currency. When you have more ATP, your body can perform better during resistance training. How does it work? In high intensity exercise, its primary role, as mentioned before, is to increase the phosphocreatine stores in your muscles. The additional stores can then produce more ATP, which is the key fuel source for heavy lifting and high intensity exercise. It's this increase in workout ability which is the key factor for long-term muscle growth. And that is the most popular reason why you will find creatine in gym bags the world over. But it is certainly not the only benefit. Supplementing with creatine will also help you gain muscle via a number of other ways. First, improve cell signaling. Creatine can help improve cell signaling, which aids muscle repair and new muscle growth. Studies note a rise in hormones such as IGF-1 after taking creatine. Creatine increases water volume within your muscle cells which causes a cell volumization effect that plays a role in muscle growth. Creatine may increase total muscle mass by reducing the rate of muscle breakdown during exercise or catabolic states. And interestingly enough, creatine also increases phosphocreatine in your brain as well which may improve brain function and also help prevent neurological disease. Male or female, anyone involved in resistance training is gonna benefit from creatine. However, I like to use creatine for clients as like a well-loaded and well-timed gun. If you're first starting out training or you're participating in a training approach that you haven't done before, you're gonna respond. The training stimulus is fresh. So I'll introduce creatine into clients' supplement schedules when training volume is low and intensity requirements are high, or if the person has hit a training plateau in regards to muscle growth. And a few changes in variables in their training, nutrition, and the addition of creatine, well, that's gonna help kickstart things in the right direction again. 